Hello everyone, this is RaySpace and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Sim where there's been a major development in how we plot flights in Flight Sim uh, just two weeks before the release of Flight Sim 2024 but that's likely because the, this sort of thing is being developed for Flight Sim 2024 as well. Uh, so far we have meticulously plotted our courses on the flight map with some frustration or we have brought in our flight plans from SimBrief, the SimBrief website and you know saved the flight plan in the website and then brought it into Flight Sim like that. Uh, but now we have SimBrief integration. So I'll put the link in the video description. It is a download site. Uh, at the top of the download page is SimBrief Downloader. That's separate. Uh, if you scroll to the bottom, there's SimBrief Dispatch. That's the one you want. And that was released on November 6th. And it will be a zip file that you will unzip into your community folder. And once you've unzipped it as a community folder, that's it. Well, you can get this little button here. And if you click this button, well, let's go to home. You'll have to sign in. That'll open up the browser and uh, have you sign into Navigraph, uh, which is the same password that you use for SimBrief. And I don't have any subscription. I'm using the free version of Navigraph. And so that's fine. That's enough for this purpose for SimBrief. Uh, but it doesn't give you the latest navigational data. That's the downside. And then you will be able to create a new flight. It looks exactly like the screen in the website. So you can click your departure and arrival. I have my saved flights. So that was, well, that was one save flight. This is the most recent flight I did with the DC-6. So view. So yeah, that was the flight, but let's say we do new flights and I say I want to depart KSFO, let's say um, KJFK, always a favorite, and I want to fly the 737. So it's got that flight. And of course it's an outdated uh, ARAC because I'm using the free version and it's got the block time and everything and we can click generate flight it's exactly like the website and for those who haven't used simbrief before there are many benefits to this first of all it's automatically calculating all the little waypoints in the distance and then also telling you how much fuel you'll need given the payload of course you might need to adjust that and uh, it's got the whole route in greater detail for for the purposes of ATC and stuff like that, especially if you're using beyond ATC, that's the main reason I use SimBrief to make sure that the ATC stuff is more proper. And we can click import to sim. And so I'm trying not to interact with the simulator as it tries to do whatever it needs to do. Okay, import has finished. So if I close, we have the whole thing in here. Uh, this doesn't know the actual flight time apparently, but uh, there we have the flight in all of its glory. And so it's just a little bit of an easier deal than trying to do it on the website and importing it in. A quality of life improvement that I thought everybody should know about. Thanks to msfsaddons.com uh, for informing me because... Uh, Otherwise, I wouldn't have known. But yes, there was an article on it on MFSF, msfsaddons.com. And that's how I found out about it. So I thought I would tell everyone. There you have it. That's all it is. That's, that's my video. Uh, it's very simple. But I think it's a great help and something that anybody who's been using SimBrief will be thankful for. So if that... Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.